So recently we reviewed the Jackery solar panel and the 240 watt hour solar generator. But today we're gonna review a licensed by Honda Jackery 292 watt hour solar generator. This is totally sponsored by Jackery, by the way. They sent it out and I'm also getting paid for making this video. But I like their products, so I don't mind doing this. So first box has the cigarette lighter cable and also the AC adapter plug. And then the second box has the AC power plug. And then the Jackery is inside. Oh, look at this. It's a different color. Oh, it doesn't look that good. Look at the top. It's a little discolored. It's like it got hurt. Do you guys see that discoloration on the top? I've never seen a Jackery product look so bad. They might have used this or it was an open box or something because it doesn't look brand new. Yeah, that just doesn't look that good. That's weird. The rest of it looks good though. And to be honest, they look like they're identical. They look like it's the same exact case, but one has a larger battery. Yeah, these things are the same goddamn size. Literally exactly the same size. Why don't they stick 292 watt hours in this one then if they actually can do it? Oh yeah, if you read the bottom, the inverter is the same size, the DC output and input is the same size, they're practically the same thing. This one just has 50 watt hours more. So it comes with a small carrying case for the AC outlet adapter and then you also have the cigarette lighter adapter. And once you plug in the solar panel, a blue light will illuminate and will tell you how many watts is coming in. Right now I don't have this in full sunshine, so there's practically no power coming in right now. So this video has been pretty darn boring up until now. We are gonna plug in one Jackery into the other Jackery. I've always wanted to do this. And it's actually charging. Let's see how fast it's charging. So the output on this one's 44 watts and the input is 40 watts. So right now state of charge of this one is 81% and this one's 33%. So they will slowly equalize each other over time. And that's pretty cool that it's charging pretty fast. I was wondering how fast it would be able to charge. Well, this one's charging this one. Let's charge this with another solar panel. We're gonna use an HQST 50 watt solar panel. So look at that. Now we're charging this one and this one's charging this one. So if we had a third Jackery, you could plug it in right here and then have it over here. What's cool about the Jackery compared to other cheap solar generators on the market is it can output AC or DC while it's charging. So you can chain these up really easily. So that means you could have a bunch of these lined up charging with one solar panel. But of course what would be faster is to have each solar panel for each Jackery, but most people are not gonna do that. They'd probably spend more money on a better system. But it's really cool that we can actually do that. Now we're gonna put a watt meter between these two Jackeries to learn more. So there's 41 watts going through this watt meter between these two Jackeries, and 44 watts is coming out and it says 42 watts is going in. So that means that the losses are in this first Jackery. What's interesting is it's outputting 13.15 volts. I thought because of the chemistry, it would be outputting 12.6, considering its state of charge. So I'm guessing that it actually has a converter on the battery and the shunt for this one is attached to the battery itself. So we're calculating the losses between this and the converter for the output. And now that we actually have this connected to a watt meter, let's hook up my rock pals. See, 11.4 volts. It's interesting that Jackery has a converter and it outputs 13 point whatever volts. So there are some losses with the cigarette lighter adapter compared to other solar generators, but it's kind of nice because you want it to be at a higher voltage. When this thing hits 50%, it does not power cigarette lighter appliances all that well. The Jackery will actually power it until the battery's dead. And if you charge this with most methods, it's about 90 to 95% efficiency. But when you're using a traditional solar panel and you put it in, it does not have MPPT. And that can be a big difference. So whenever I hook up a 50 watt solar panel to either one of these Jackeries, I will get about 32 to 33 watts. If I connect that same solar panel to an MPPT, I will get 42.5 watts. And that's kind of a bummer. So it's at 100% and we have a kilowatt meter. We're gonna see how many watt hours we can take from this 292 watt hour battery. 100 34 watts but on here it says 144 watts so it seems around 10 percent in efficiency all right guys it just cut off at 0.26 kilowatt hours i wasn't filming but it was 0.26 so i'll calculate it in this video and you'll see how much that is efficiency wise now we're going to test this jackery and see if it's around the same as the other one. Ooh, it just turned off 
0.21. So right now I should be posting the efficiency. You can compare it to the other one. This one's a 240 watt hour, so I'm thinking 210 watt hours is pretty good considering the inverter efficiency losses. But I think that they should rate these to what the output watt hour is. They always tell you what the battery watt hour capability is, but they don't tell you the losses of the inverter and also the converter for using the 12 volts and the converter for the 5 volts, which most of these is about 10% loss. But yeah, it did the rated output, so that's cool. So I like the Jackery for most people because it's dead simple and you can't really break it. But I really wish they had an MPPT charge controller. I really wish that the solar panel was waterproof. And I really wish that I didn't have to make my own adapters. They really need to make a charging cable with MC4 adapters so you can plug any 50 watt solar panel to it so you don't have to do the crimp job that I did. But these things are actually really great for everyday people and they're the only small generator that tells you how many watts is going in and how many watts is going out. And it's so easy to use all of the cables to plug in. It takes seconds. Anybody can do it. And the rated output is great. It's kind of crazy that we have some losses, in the, but it will improve the performance of 12 volt appliances compared to other solar generators. I really hope they send me out the 450 watt hour battery because that would be really fun to experiment with. So thank you so much, Jackery, for sending these out. They're actually pretty fun to play with. And even though I'm sponsored by Jackery, I actually use this one. I don't use my other tiny solar generators because they're a waste of time but this thing charges up all of my drone batteries it also charges my micro sega way so yeah i really dig this thing so yeah i hope you guys like this video and i'll talk to you later